हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट इफ द 75 के जी क्रेड स्टार्ट फ्राम रेस्ट एट ए सो दिस मीन्स दैट द विलासिटी एट ए इज द लेट मी राइट दैट द मास इज सेवेंटी फाइव के जी एंड द विलासिटी एट ए इज जीरो एंड इट इज सेट दैट डिटरमाइंड इट स्पीड वेन इट रीच इज पॉइंट बी सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द विलासिटी एट पॉइंट बी and it said that the cable is subjected to a constant force of 300 newton so this force f is 300 newton and it said that neglect friction and the size of the pulley so now uh, this box travels 6 meters distance in the horizontal direction from a to b so if i draw the free body diagram of that crate so it's the the normal force of the surface is going to act in the positive direction uh, in the upward direction and the weight is going to act downward and that force f is going to act in this direction so this is that force f and the block is moving in the horizontal direction so this is the direction of the displacement traveled now to find the velocity at point b again we need to apply the work energy principle so uh the work energy from work energy principle we can say that the kinetic energy at point a plus the summation of the work done due to the external forces from a to b will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b now as we can see that uh the displacement is traveled in the horizontal direction and this normal and this weight they are perpendicular to the displacement travel so they are not doing any work so the only work is done by the uh force which is exerted with the help of this rope so and the initial velocity is zero so the kinetic energy at point a is zero and the only work is done due to that force f and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so the kinetic energy at point b will be 1 divided by 2 and mass is 75 times the velocity at b square now as we know that the work done due to that force f will be equal to the force times the change in the cord length from a to b so when this block uh, travels a distance of 6 meters in the horizontal direction so it will reach somewhere here let's say that this is the final position of the block and the cord length will be from b to c the cord will be from b to c like this so now there will be a change in the length of the cord right and that force this force f is applied for that particular change in length of the cord so when this crate moves from a to b uh, the ac length of the rope will decrease to bc and that decrease in the length will uh, cause this rope to move forward and that same increase in the length will uh, this end of the rope will move for that same change in length which will occur right so this force f is going to be applied for that change in length of the cord when it when the crate moves from a to b so we can find this ac length and we can find this bc length we are given uh, these dimensions so first of all if i consider uh, this large triangle if we consider this large triangle so the base of this triangle is 8 and the height is 6 m so we can find ac using the pythagoras theorem so ac square will be equal to this 8 square plus this perpendicular square and then we if we take the square root so that will give us ac and this will give us 10 meter length and similarly we can find bc again we can use the pythagoras theorem so that will be now we can use this small triangle right so now this length is 2 meters so i will write 2 square plus again this 6 square so this will give us uh 2 square plus 6 square so this gives us 2 square root 10 or we can say that this is 6.325 so let me write a, it is 2 square root 10 so now the change in length will be ac minus bc so now uh, delta l is ac minus bc so ac is 10 and bc is 2 square root 10 so 10 minus 2 square root 10 so this is the change in length so this is 
3.675 meters. So now this end of the rope will move, will travel a distance in the direction of the of this force F. And let's say that it travels from, from that point to here when the crate moves from A to B. So this is that change in length. This is that change in length. So now we can write that this force F is 300. Change in length is 3.675 and that will be equal to 1 divided by 275 Vb square. So now from this I can write that Vb square if I cross multiply, if I multiply both sides by 2, so this will become 600, 600 into 3.675 and then we divide both sides of equation by 75 as well. So this will be Vb square and then if we take the square root, so that will give us the velocity of the crate at point B. So this is uh, 600 into 3.675 divided by 75. So this is 5.42. So the velocity of the crate at point B is 5.422 meter per second. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video. If you people want me to continue solving all these problems from Hitler Dynamics.